everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here I hope everybody is doing well I sent my kid back to school today she is feeling better and that's a relief so um, I am going to go over my budget with me from last week and then work on the next week before I started I did want to point out that these sheets um, that I have created are on my Etsy shop if you go down into my description box below you'll see a link to my Etsy shop and you can purchase them yourself they are very inexpensive and they're a digital download so you can download them right away and you can print them as often as, as you want so um, I also uploaded some new ones, new designs for February, but again, they can be used anytime. It does not have to be specific for any month of the year. I did a couple in there. There was Blue Galaxy and Purple Galaxy, which I think can be done anytime. And the other ones are more floral or like red and silver colored. Again, those can be done anytime. So anyways, um, going over last week, my husband did get paid. He only got paid for the one day because they were on the shutdown. And we did have 631 for DoorDash. And we did roll over that 832, which leaves us at 613. Um, we did have our bills come out. And these were all correct. And then, as you may have you know, probably seen in other videos, my daughter was sick. Uh, she missed school for three days. She was sick since Saturday absolutely miserable um it really she wasn't horrible on saturday and she really wasn't bad on sunday it was uh, late sunday night early monday morning where she started to get very sick i think she had a touch of the stomach flu but also influenza on top of it it was kind of a double whammy um so because of this i had to run and get some more supplies i had run out of uh children's motrin i also got her some cough and congestion children's medicine um, some chicken noodle soup because that was what she was requesting, some Gatorade, things that you know you need for when they're sick and I just had not had those things so I had to do that and then I also needed another space heater. Um, our bathroom downstairs was an addition. It was done before we moved in and unfortunately they didn't do very good with insulation. Um, so this, the, we have one space heater in there to help keep, the, keep warm, number one, and also to keep pipes from freezing in the winter time. And then I had to buy a, the one that I, the space heater that I had was for my office. And not that my office isn't insulated, but it's an old house. Our house was built in, built in 1912. So there are little, little drafts here and there, and it's helping. We will eventually uh, be redoing the walls and the windows. But until then, I needed to have something that was keeping me from freezing. So I purchased um, some items for my daughter, and then I purchased a space heater, a little guy from Walmart. It was only about $26 or so, but that totaled up to $60. So I'm gonna add these up quick. comes out to 343 so we'll take 1613 minus 343 and that leaves us with 1270 and then I did spend a little bit more in groceries than I had budgeted but you know sometimes that happens you know this unfortunately our economy right now is making everything expensive and I'm hoping that eventually it will reduce but until then, you know, we have to make do with what we have. So that came out to 380. So 1270 minus 380 leaves us with $890. So we move that up here. We did put the 295 in, which leaves us with 595. And we did make that Amazon payment of $50, which leaves us with $545. I'm sorry, put that down there, $545, which we move down here. And we will roll that over to the following week, which brings us to that zero base budget that we like. That's our goal. So moving on to this week again, this is the mittens um, design, really like it. So, all right. So this is the week of 114, 
to 120. Um, the good news is my husband did get a full week in. They got the week that this paycheck is in. They had Monday was holiday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was their eight hours. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, they actually did a 10 hour day and then they had to work on Saturday. So there was overtime involved. So he did get paid his 850. Actually, he got a little bit more, but that's gonna, I'm not putting that in here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that towards my snowball later on, but you'll see that later on when we stuff um, envelopes. And my check was slightly more. I think I had mentioned in the past that I had changed my FSA or my HSA amount. It was very, very little difference, but I am starting an uh, account for my daughter's orthodontics um, that I'm projecting that she'll be having later this year. And I'll be putting that money towards that. So that will help. And then rollover was 545. And I'm not putting anything with DoorDash because my husband made the money that we needed him to make. So anything extra will be set aside in case we need it. So we're at 2961. All right, so bills this week. Our city bill is 90. Alliant, which is gas, is 84. Then our electric bill is 132. These two are on budget billing, so they will always be the same until they get changed at six months. So and they, they just changed not too long ago. The truck is 613. My daughter's travel is 253. And then school meals is 60. So let's add those together. Which totals to 1232. 2961 minus 1232 is 1729. These always add up to 395, but I want to double check. I did put 150 for groceries just in case. You just never know. Yes, 395. So 1729 minus 395 is 1334. I decided not to list all these out because I think I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to. There are certain envelopes that I want to make sure I stuff each week a certain amount, but then there's other ones that I might focus on more than the others, if that makes sense. So. And those end up being, is that right? No, 295. I was like, that's not right. I think I was thinking of this over here. All right, 1334 minus 295 is 1039. And I am not going to put anything towards extra debt yet because I just wanna make sure the rest of my month is covered. So that's going to leave us with a zero base budget. We're going to roll over that 1039 for next week and see how that goes. And then again, just wanted to make sure that um, we have enough money to cover bills um, in the following couple of weeks. We don't have a whole lot left, but you just never know if, if things come up. I don't want to run myself short and have to dip into our emergency fund if we don't have to. So, but that is that. Um, Again, if you um, like these sheets, go to my Etsy shop. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to. I hope you have a great day. Bye.